cooler and cloudier for all of us today. Outbreaks of rain in the south, brighter further north. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Forecaster at the RAF, and I worked at RAF oh, Rise did, Norton, yeah. who they used to do the air-to-air -air refueling as well. So I saw the picture of the plane, we used to get the big, big planes, just like we would fly normally going on holiday. So yeah. Great to see wow. that. Wow. Great stuff. Me weather, sustainability, planes, I love it. Uh, but we just saw there the heat building across oh. Greece. So we've had high temperatures there. And actually, large parts of Europe have seen extreme temperatures and also drought as well. So I just want to talk about what's going on and why. From the west, things are turning cooler and more unsettled. Right through central parts of the Mediterranean, they're in drought at the moment. Some areas are banning swimming pools being filled up. Others are turning water off for 12 hours to make sure people have supplies. But it's in the east where we have temperatures of five to 10 degrees above average. And that is set to continue for the next week, at least before this cooler weather moves from the West later, hopefully cooling things off and bringing some much needed thunderstorms. Now we experienced some of that heat and humidity over the weekend being drawn up from the near continent. It's now been pushed away. So this band of rain across the southeast pushing away the last of the heat and humidity. Behind it, drier, brighter weather follows on. So this is how it looks first thing this morning. The weather front that was across northern areas yesterday is in the south today. So England and Wales start off cloudy with outbreaks of rain brighter fortunes further north and west. So as we head through the day, it's a slow process. Outbreaks of rain slowly starting to ease. That cloud looks set to linger, but noticeably cooler because the fresher air has been pushed away. So temperature wise, 23 or 24, maybe 25 in the south and back to around about average 18 or 19 in the north, but much more comfortable and fresher conditions around. This evening and overnight tonight, it is dry in the south thanks to those clearer, fresher conditions moving in. But here comes our next weather front across the north. So as we head through the day. It's a band of rain that slipped south was through Scotland, Northern Ireland to northern areas of England. But sunshine returns in the south with top temperatures a pleasant 25 degrees Celsius. Good morning to you. The heat and humidity from the weekend is slowly being pushed away. Temperatures peaked into the high 20s yesterday, more like mid 20s today. And that's because a weather front's moving through. It pushes away that heat and another one is set to move in tomorrow, bringing with it yet more rain. So yesterday we had a band of rain and it was across the north of the UK. Today, that is moving further south. So behind it, we see skies brightening. So for many of us today, it's a reverse of fortunes from where we were yesterday. Here's how it looks first thing this morning. Cloudy skies without breaks of rain for England and Wales. It's damp, drizzly conditions, but overcast. But for Scotland and Northern Ireland, drier, brighter, a fresher start to the day greeting you this morning compared to that we had yesterday. So here's how it looks then. At the moment, we have the outbreaks of rain this morning. It slowly eases and then by the afternoon, slowly that cloud lifts and breaks, so somewhat drier and brighter. Not as sunny as yesterday, not as humid as yesterday. So temperatures in the south, the mid-20s at best. For Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, a much brighter day ahead compared to yesterday. We're looking at temperatures up to 19, maybe 21 degrees Celsius. So how do things pan out as we head through the next seven days? Well, let's take a look at our outlook. And the big theme across the north of the UK is that weather fronts are trying to battle in, trying to bring spells of rain. Percentage chance of rain, for, uh, looking at our temperatures compared to where they should be for average, sitting around about where they should be. But it's percentage chance of rainfall that's a little hit and miss through the next few days. Today is largely fine and dry, but here comes our weather front moving in tomorrow. A wet one that's like the wettest day of the next seven days. Drier for the end of the week and the weekend, but showers return into next week. Fortunes further south for England and Wales as we head through the next seven days. Again, looking at our temperatures compared to where they should be for the time of year. A little above average, but much more comfortable by day, by day and by night when we have those very warm, humid conditions. But south is much closer to our high pressure and the outlook here is much drier. The chance of some showers at times, but generally the outlook in the south largely fine and dry and pleasantly warm in the sunshine.